All right, welcome back everybody. So we're gonna take a look at some of the mercenary missions. Those are a pretty good gameplay loop. Uh, the biggest challenge we have with Star Citizen is for new players that just have the basic ship, it can be hard to determine some of the best missions to kind of take on and still make good money uh, with just the starter ship, right? So you'll see a bunch of clickbait titles like, hey, make a million AUEC per hour, but unfortunately that you have to have like a C2 or some bigger ship in order to actually make the income because you have to carry around a bunch of cargo or something of that nature, right? You have to have hauling drugs or something, but you know they don't really take into account the fact that you need a big ship in order to haul those drugs around to make those millions. Um, so you can use any ship for these particular missions. Some make good money, some are better than others. And then there's some rep involved as well. So as you level these up, you can get access to better missions. Um, but yeah, that's the biggest challenge uh, with some of these, mission, these early missions. As well as uh, CIG also likes to focus on particular gameplay loops. And right now, cargo is going to be the goal. Those car cargo missions are not out yet. But some of the distro centers and things of that nature are still out. And so that's why these mercenary missions seem to be a better income maker. So that's why we're focusing on these. That's pretty much it. So they're going to, again, they're for everybody, no matter what ship you have. Um, again, they're not going to be like you make a million AUC per hour or something like that. It's just a good um, way to grind out money, and then you can try out other gameplay loops. So I'm going to move on from here to some ship recommendations. But if you're here to take a look at just the missions, feel free to skip to those uh, sections and chapters to take a look at the missions. That's totally fine as well. But I wanted to make some ship recommendations for those that might be relatively new and not quite sure what ships they should move on after they've started to make money. All right, so the first recommendation for a ship is gonna be the Cutlass Black. Uh, it's 2.1 million, although you can also rent this ship, so it's a good rental option. Renting works the same way that any other um, purchasing option. You you basically get the ship added to your account temporarily, more or less, that's the best way to kind of think about it. I mean, it's not really added to your account, but it's added to your in-game account, right? Um, and you can reclaim the ship if you need to insurance-wise, you can do anything you want on it just like you own it. Um, but it's only for you know 24 hours or whatever it is that the rental period you decide to choose. I think it's one, three days, seven days, and a month something like that. Um, so you pay a little bit more if you decide to go for the month op option, obviously, versus the daily one. Uh, along with that Cutlass Black, the Rock Miner. So if you want to do mining, the Rock um, Mining Vehicle is a ground vehicle you can use planet side. So if that's something you want to give a try, then feel free to give that a try as well. Uh, both of those can be rented. So those might be a good stepping point to find out if you like that particular ship. But again, it's 2.1 million to purchase that to keep it added to your account for now, um, unless there's a wipe. Next on is going to be the Vulture. Um, actually, the Vulture and the Prospector. The Vulture is 2.6 million and the Prospector is 2.9 million. So a little under 3 million for the Prospector, a little over 2.5 million um, for the Vulture. But these are both going to enable, so the Vulture will allow for salvage gameplay, which is pretty nice and relaxing gameplay if you're interested in something like that. And then the Prospector is for mining alternatively. So if you want to do some solo mining, um, that's going to be a good option here for the Prospector. If you want to do some solo salvaging, then the Vulture will be the better option. Next is going to be a, a good option that's kind of an all-around good ship. But it is, you know, it's probably good for like uh, things like bounty hunting, and uh, one of them is a little better about cargo trading as well. So that's gonna be the Corsair and the, the Constellation Taurus. The Corsair being 6.5 million, a little bit cheaper, right? But the 1.5 million extra you can get for 8 million, you can get the Constellation Taurus. And the benefit there on the Constellation Taurus is really just the fact that you could, again, the cargo missions is, are what's going to be the, the big money, it should be the big money maker. That's typically how CIG does things when they release a new kind of, or revamp a gameplay style. So that should be the better option at the end of the day, um, as far as making money and having more fun is potentially getting, or at least that's speculatory, right? This is speculation. That you could potentially make more money and have more fun with the uh, Constellation Taurus. The Corsair does have better DPS though. So if you're interested in maybe pirating or doing other things, um, the Corsair could be a better ship for you. Um, I wanted to include them both here because they're very similar Swiss Army knives that are um, good at about everything and a good jack of all trades. But at the end of the day, um, each one of them have a little bit more of a high side. Again, the Corsair being a little more DPS, whereas Constellation Taurus is a little more versatility with having 174 SEUs versus the Corsair 72. So having that extra 100 SEUs could be pretty important if you want to uh, take advantage of some of the gameplay loops associated with uh, cargo trading. Yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. Let's get in to take a look at these missions. When we get started with these, um, go into your mercenary section and pick up the call to arms. That's gonna be a good mission to have too. Every time you kill a bad guy, you'll get a little bit of income. So next I'm over at Microtech. You can do this at any of the particular planets or their associated moons. So actually, if you wanna start somewhere like Microtech where there's quite a few moons and Microtech itself, you can start there. And then if you wanna move on to other areas, you can do that as well. We're just taking a look at some of the missions I have here, but illegal uh, monitoring detected, the one that can give you up to 16K per completion is gonna be the one we're gonna focus on here. 
fairly good income for it. Um, there's going to be three kind of scanner arrays that are going to be around the comms array itself. And so you can use these, uh, this marker, you can make your way to the comms array. And then from there, you're going to uh, use your ping and your scanning feature to try to find these monitors. So once you get there, you can use V to go into scan mode and tab to ping. Um, you can also use master modes. You can swap to SCM mode, and then there's using the middle mouse button to go to the scanning mode that way as well. So there's a couple ways to do it, but um, these should get you into scanning mode, and then you can use tab by default to go ahead and start pinging to find what you're looking for here. There's going to be a fair amount of signatures. You might find some mining signatures and stuff like that as well. But really what we're looking for here is the little scanning arrays so you can go ahead and attack those down. Um, yeah, so here I do find one. Um, it'll show you on the top right once you start finding them, and then you'll start to you'll want to make your way to those. Um, you'll see the yellow markers. The yellow markers will disappear once you get the correct heading, but they'll give you the, the relative heading to get to in order to get to them. And then the NPCs themselves, you can either fight them or you can ignore them outright. So there should be about a prospector per um, one of these little sensors. You can see I'm here at the sensor. I'm going towards the sensor now. As long as you boost towards it, you can kind of outrun the prospectors, the auroras and or uh, mustangs that show up to kind of fight you or protect them. So really you don't have to fight them at all, or you can choose to fight them. It's up to you, or you can do a mixture of the two. But then once you get there, you're just going to destroy them. It'll say friendly fire, but you're, you're fine to destroy them. And again, they should be relatively far away from the comms area itself. If you're near the comms array and you're finding a target, that's probably going to be a missile battery or something like that. Don't shoot those. Um, they'll shoot back. So um, yeah, then you'll want to move to kind of a triangulated direction away or follow one of the yellow markers. Once you kind of get that heading again, the yellow marker will go away, but you can start pinging toward that direction. Just head that direction until you find it, they're gonna be relatively far apart. And unfortunately you will have to make your way towards an enemy because there's kind of an enemy at each of these locations. So it should be a prospector at each one and then either an Aurora or a uh, Mustang, at least what I'm usually finding at these. So you can fight them with your level one uh, or your kind of lower uh, level weapons and stuff like that. Uh, it's okay to go ahead and fight them if you want to, or again, you can ignore them outright, depend upon your shields to protect you and then use your speed to kind of get away. So. Uh, it's pretty inexpensive if you have ballistics or something like that, right? And if you do decide to fight, that could be your expense. Otherwise, you're paying for gas. So hydrogen and uh, quantanium are the only two things you should have to pay for when it comes to destroying, uh, fixing these, as well as fixing any damage to your ship you might have. Once you've completed and shot all three, then you've completed the mission and it should give you the 16,000. It kind of depends on how much data and stuff you've uploaded. So if like, you've taken too long to actually get to these, um, there could be kind of a downside here. But that's, that's about it. It's just about destroying these particular comm things and then running this again and getting another 16K or moving on to one of the other missions. Let's take a look at another one. Next up, the mission is associated with Microtech. So you will have to be a Microtech to take advantage of this. So it's still under mercenaries, but under here you'll find the wildlife control. It's gonna give you only 5K, so it's not a lot, but it's also not gonna require much from you because you can just kill these from your ship and then move on or redo it. So it's it's not gonna be a big challenge here. Plus it's just gonna be on Microtech. So you just make your way to that planet, you go down to the, any of the particular jump points within the planet, and then from there we can start scanning. Supposedly these are easier to find on hills and uh, instead of being maybe in the valleys, but I think they're kind of all throughout Microtech. So you're gonna be scanning for these particular critters um, and then using your ship, you can just use your ship guns. You can you can land and use FPS gear if you'd like to, but to keep it low cost, you can just use your ship to uh, to just, you know, Wildlife control, I guess, is the best way to put it. You want to start scanning uh, again, just like we did in the last mission. So you want to do V to bring up the, tab, the scanning option and then use tab. Uh, put yourself in SEM guns mode. But again, right now, most is just going to cost you fuel as long as you have a laser type weapon. If you have ballistics, it's just going to cost you in ballistics. Um, I would definitely recommend laser type weapons because, I mean, that's doing the damage isn't really the important part here. So you're going to be towards the ground. You'll be using scans. You're looking for these white chevron markers. These white chevron markers is going to be what you're looking for. If it looks different than this white marker, it's probably some ground mining material that you don't necessarily need. So in this case, we're just looking for these chevron markers. There were maybe four to five per, they'll target you, but they can't attack you because <laughs> they're just melee animals. Um, but yeah, you just get close to them and then you just mow them down, unfortunately for them. Uh, that's the animal wildlife control. So there are six here. So there's somewhere between... I've seen as low as like two, uh, upwards of six or seven to a pack. Uh, it took me a while to figure out a good way to do it, but you basically want to um, kind of get your laser beams to be on either the left or right side of the animal and just work your way up or down and just kind of stream along it. But once you get used to doing it, um, you'll see them, they'll start flying away and whatnot. You'll see the kill count goes up. So really you just need to kill 15 of these things. And then from there you complete the mission. You can just do it again. 
which again, 5Ks, this doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a good way to mix up the gameplay if you want to give this a try. You can also get FPS gear and again, head down. Um, they're pretty easy to kill that way as well. They do have a horn you can loot, which I think is supposed to be medical type of stuff, but I didn't do much with it. I just mostly did this largely for this video and just is a good way to kind of make a little bit of money. This also will help level up your mercenary rep as well. So it's a good way to do it. It's really for rep running at this point. Each subsystem has a rep system. Um, so Microtech, Arcorp, um, Crusader, Hurston, they're all gonna have their own rep system. And then there's a broader rep system as well. So as you do these mercenary missions, you'll get more unlocked and they'll give you uh, more money for completing them. Also, sometimes they'll be a little bit more difficult as well. So once you get into a little bit of rep, you can see this protect site trial contract. Um, you may see it actually pretty early on, but just take this as soon as you can find it. The protect site trial mission will open up other missions that we can use later on. So just get to the jump point, And then from there, you may see this is a, essentially a bunker mission. These bunkers sometimes will have other people that have already been there just trying to find a spot to land. Um, they may have 30 k out or disconnected for other reasons. So and that could happen to you as well. So you just go again. Unfortunately, if there's a problem like that, this is, after all is a tech demo, not a game. So unfortunately, um, yeah. So once you get to them, there's going to be an opening on one side. Just head there. I like to put my ship actually kind of far away and there's a turret here. So if you actually put your ship a little further out and behind rocks, if you can, um, that can help protect the ship if there's a 30K and that way you can head back up and get back to your ship if need be. You can always just backspace though too. Now I don't have all the gear I need to have. You do need FPS gear for this mission and some of the others I'm gonna recommend here. So you're gonna need a gun, um, ideally some med pins or a med gun. Med pins are just fine. These guys will have med pins and ammo and stuff like that too. So you don't need to bring a whole lot, but me, you can see I don't have even a reload here. So I have a gun and I have um, some armor that I picked up from another dead, one of these dead guys from a previous mission. So anyways, yeah. Um, again, this is on Microtech. Each one of the different uh, systems, sorry, the, the, the planets will have their own kind of setups here. These guys don't, if they have this little hood on, they don't even have any, um, armor so they're pretty easy to kill they take one bullet pretty much more or less than they die so no big hard that's no harm no foul here that's most of the, the guys that were even here at this particular place now ideally you're not having to do what i have to do here which is get a gun but if you only have one gun you'll have one mag um just kind of hide out find some cover and then these guys will kind of potato usually and allow you to generally run past them this last guy had no armor so i was like i'm gonna take advantage of that but if you wait a little bit sometimes you can kind of lose them depending on the server status too um these guys are kind of potatoes so I just run upstairs here and I eventually find another gun. Actually, I don't find a gun. I think I end up killing one more guy with these nine bullets. This is this was calculated. This isn't luck at all. Um, super calculated that I get a headshot on this guy and finish him up so I can get his gun, getting more ammo, and then um, finish off the rest of these guys here. <laughs> Again, totally tactically sound. Um, not at all any kind of luck associated with this. Again, I'm also taking a lot of damage here and I don't have any med pins. You can see there's a med pin on this guy's hip. So yeah, the end goal here, just complete the mission if you can. Ideally, you could do it without you know making as many flubs as I almost do here. Press four if you need to to get a med pin once you get it. Um, one is to get to your gun. I, I just use one here. Um, it kind of I had a gun on my back, so it just threw it to the ground, but I wanted this optic. So anyways, yeah, I'm doing this all in the middle of combat uh, and this guy's got heavy armor. But anyways, just get the kills in there and then you can move on to doing the next mission. The, uh, there's a remove hostile forces for 21k. This is a pretty good mission and you don't need a whole lot of rep to actually get it. Um, so when I go to the rep system here, you can see that uh, Hurston, I am barely above applicant here and I have access to this mission. So um, you may even see it without actually doing the missions before this and then looking at the civilian defense, I'm still an applicant there as well. So relatively low rep needed for this and this mission actually allows you to kill um, dudes outside with your ship kind of like the last mission. So you can look for this one before the Copian as well. Um, but if you've done a Copian kills, you can do this mission. It'll get you 21K. Additionally, there is another one that goes alongside it here as well for 34K. So the 21K one is, can be done outside with your ship. The 34K one, you have to go inside to actually kill this boss. Um, that may require a little bit of rep as well. But anyways, they do go hand in hand. They're the same location. So they're the new um, um, work sites or distros. So once you get to the particular area, you have the Illuminate Hostile little section to show you where the bad guys are. They're all outside. There is a bit of a bridge, so if they get under there, you may have to get out. But you can see an Ursa, um, it's been destroyed. So just be careful around those kinds of targets. You don't want to try to get a crime stat for shooting friends. I mean, you can shoot at friendlies, but you don't want to. This looks pretty destroyed, so I don't know if I could destroy it any further, to be honest. But yeah, um, if you need to, what I had to do here is why I had to jump cut is it had to, I had to back away for a bit to let my shields regen because I was having a hard time finding these guys. And that could be the biggest challenge you're going to run into is just finding the little ants out there to uh, strafe run. So 
the cost wise this is the biggest cost is going to be the um actual repairs like surprisingly enough towards the end here you realize i actually do take some damage with my ship um i wasn't good enough to like or focus enough on my shields to realize i needed to back away enough plus there are ballistics sometimes so the ballistics are going to cut through the shield anyways um but yeah take a look around for these guys uh you also have to pay for the hydrogen or fuel you use up quantum in this case the longer you hang out or actually hydrogen yeah so how much you're hanging around that's gonna so fuel cost and repair is gonna be the, the things you should be paying for um if you have ballistics you may be paid for ammo as well but again i already recommended before I think, I think it's best to have some laser repeaters or laser cannons or some sort of laser armament um as you after you kill a couple you're gonna start seeing the eliminate targets uh, be mindful of that versus the eliminate hostiles um, i actually mistook this eliminate hostiles as a target for a little while and was like oh that's not a target it's actually just a hostiles marker so yeah Finish up the targets here. Um, you also have a counter in the top right, so you just need to eliminate all of the remaining hostiles that it chose for you. Um, there's only about nine I think it had anyway, so pretty easy easy job, easy life. I don't know why. I think because I backed away here, um, it, it removed the counter. But as you get closer, you can see it reset it, and I'm back down to only needing to kill one. So yeah, um, once I make the uh, last kill here, this guy's really snuck in the corner, but I got him. You can see he's starting to kind of jump around. I, he's taking a lot of bullets. I need to go loot his armor because clearly it's a lot better than what armor I usually wear. Um, but yeah, you can also see I've taken a bit of damage. But once you've done this, you can head inside if you have the other mission or you can move on to do another mission. So as you do the rep, you're actually going to unlock this contraband mission, clear side of contraband. This is a pretty good way to make money as well. You can either destroy the contraband or you can actually throw it in your ship and try to sell it um, at illegal sites to sell so it's a, a nice little mission to get into but you do have to rep uh, your way up to this one so i just wanted to kind of note that i don't show gameplay for this one it's a bunker mission much like the contract the trial mission that i showed before um it's just the, the enemies will continue to spawn so you don't have all day in there uh, and it could be a little more challenging for this particular mission but it is a good income but again if you want the 55k you just have to go in there shoot each of the drug kind of pieces once that's all it needs to do in order to actually destroy them if you want to destroy them or again you can use a tractor beam to pull them out into your ship and sell them for their uh they obviously because they're drugs they have pretty good income uh, but yeah that's about it for that one let's look at the next mission again you have to work your way up to this particular rep for this one but it's a good mission to get now this next mission is specific to Microtech, but it's a nice little treat. It gives a pretty good payout. So you can see here, you can get uh, 45K for doing this and you get to board an 890 jump. This is a pretty long standing one, but urgent boarding action in progress. So it is for an 890 jump. You're gonna have to head out there. This is largely an FPS mission, but there are some fighters. I'm actually not sure if you have to kill the fighters or if you can just race into the ship. It, I would you know, maybe recommend if you don't have a very good ship, possibly just racing into the ship here although the fighters that spawn here are super were really easy so i just went ahead and, and made the kills um, but once you start to get close to the ship you'll realize pretty quickly that some contacts are going to come along these contacts are going to be other ships so you can see here um you just need to you know get in there not kill any friendlies um the friendlies there's not very many left most people are dead in here but you just need to kill 14 dudes and you can see here a couple fighters come along and i do decide to go ahead and take them out there's also um a high data like a trans data transformation or trans um transfer that's going on um i actually miss out on that and it doesn't seem to overly affect my pay um so i, I don't know i i wouldn't necessarily worry about that too terribly much it's just something that you're gonna have to if you could beat the time great but if not no worries it doesn't seem to overly affect the outcome of the mission. At least it doesn't seem to fail it, at least from in my case. Yeah, so if you wanna deal with these fighters, um, feel free to do that. I've got the A1 here with a couple of cannons on it. So it is well, in, it's decent enough to actually take care of this. I'm not using my cutter. Um, this is on my main account, I think. So you may also need to get a fair amount of rep to get this unlocked as well. Um, just do your best to kill these guys. I end up having shields even go down. I didn't realize that this guy's kind of, um, really showing me what time it is. <laughs> I didn't realize how bad this fight went on, but anyways, I, I do end up winning. And I'm not the greatest uh, dogfighter. So I should have also probably killed the Gladius first. Um, that's probably the easiest way to go about this. But anyways, uh, I do end up killing them at the end of the day. Next, you wanna head in. So just park next to the 890. There's a docking collar on each side. So head in, if you wanna button up, you can. Um, no one else should really come along. You're out in the middle of nowhere. So I decided <laughs> decide not to close my door here. Um, but just get your gun ready. You're gonna head in. There's not contacts right away, like usually you're not going to find people to fight right away. Um, it's just getting through the hallway and heading to the main ship bridge. It's going to be the first spot you're going to probably find people. So that's where you want to head first is 
And if you're not familiar with the 890 jump, maybe watch a review on it. You can just follow what I'm doing here as well. But um, yeah, you're on the right side. So that's the docking collar on the other side. So we're just on one side entrance here. Um, just go ahead and open the doors, but now you're gonna start finding guys. So it's best to head up the stairs as quickly as possible. Watch out for the guys. Um, I like to head to the bridge. That seems to be the easiest way to go about this is to get to the bridge. Now be mindful there's glass around here as well. And assuming you've picked up a lot of ammo and armor and whatnot from previous missions, I'm still using the armor from my previous mission, but I did pick up more ammo um, and get mid pins. Maybe grenades is helpful too. I think I do use grenades a couple times here as well, but you just have to kill about 14 guys. So um, again, be mindful of the glass and the protection they might run into. Use four if you need to use your med pen like I've got there and then one to switch back to your gun. But these guys, they'll kind of come to you as well. Um, I don't, yeah, I end up doing a little bit of the around corner peek, but they're pretty easy to kill. No harm, no foul here. And then we'll have to make our way down to find the rest of the guys. The, NPC, uh, the NPCs that are friendly are down, I think, near, for in my case, they were, you can see the green markers there. They were down in the cargo area. So it was pretty easy to not, anyone that's coming towards you is probably not a friendly. So just do your best to quickly take, make short work of them. Um, this takes care of, mo uh, I've already killed half of the people. Again, I did fail the trans, stopping the transmission, but at this point I need to head downstairs. So I have one less bad guy here to kill, but um, yeah. You're gonna wanna head down to the green markers and the best way to do that is to get to the hangar elevator. So right here under the main bridge is gonna be uh, where an elevator is. Now it's a bit glitched, but it's on the left-hand side once you get in here. Also, you can use a left alt and one to reconsolidate your ammo and um, just get close to the elevator here. It doesn't show up until you get really close to it, but you can hit the call button on the bit of the right-hand side there. Um, once you get in there, you really you won't be hanging down, get down to the hangers. Originally, I go down to the bar area, but if you, if you hold down the um, F key and use right click, you should be able to see an option to go down to the hangers. And that's gonna be the best spot to go next because that's where the remaining guys are actually at. Um, you can look around the rest of the ship you want to too as well, but I think most of them are in the hangar bay here or then this, I've done this mission a couple times now and this is typically where they are. So there is a med bay down here as well, as you can see here, there's medical. So if you have an injury that's bad enough, you could just come down here and heal. So I don't think I'd set my spawn here necessarily, but anyways, you can on your way to the hangar down here if you took a lot of damage from up above, or if you have a problem, you can run downstairs and come to this med bed and use it if, if need be. But a couple guys are here. Um, there's a couple guys off to the right as well. Just clear out the rest of the bad guys. And then there was one straggler that was off closer to the rest of the crew. So you can see three guys here. I do decide to use a grenade. Almost damn near kill myself. Um, yeah, don't be careful with the grenades. Grenades are pretty spicy here in Star Citizen. And uh, they come at, at come back at you more so than <laughs> end up being fairly helpful. I, th I don't know if they kicked it back. I don't think so. I think it's just the fact that it, I don't know. Luckily, it didn't do too much damage there to me or them. <laughs> But uh, yeah, just be mindful of grenades. They can get pretty spicy. Um, once you've killed the rest of these guys in the hangar, again, I've got one guy left just to uh, get your reloads in. Again, use Alt Left 1 if you need to reconsolidate your magazines and then head back through. These are like hangers and habs, essentially. Um, I went to the little bar room here, but you don't, you don't really need to do that. You're just gonna head down this way. There's a kitchen you're gonna get into and back in, you know, this is like a dining facility and these are little habs in here as well. I mean, it's meant to be like a long time, I think cruise line essentially the 890 is so um make your way through the kitchen here and then i actually end up finding this guy on the other end of the kitchen i guess he came down here to get a snack and left his buddies in the hangar top to dry so just kill him and you complete the mission and get yourself an easy 45k thank you all for checking out the video appreciate those that time taking the time to like and subscribe and i'll catch y'all next time peace